Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you're thinking about selling online, but you're kind of unsure about which e-commerce platform to choose for all the things that you're gonna need, like shipping, tracking stock, and just making a good looking store, then you should probably check out Shopify. It makes the whole process much easier. So I decided to give it a test run myself and just share my experience with you. I'll go over their features, plans, pricing, and the pros and cons, and why I think their trial is a great starting point if you're new to this. By the end of the video, you'll you'll have a good idea of whether Shopify is the right fit for your needs. And if at any point you decide you want to try Shopify, there's an affiliate link in the description that'll give you three days for free and then cost just a dollar per month for the first three months after that. It's the best deal out there right now. Without further ado, how about we get started? So first off, if you haven't heard about Shopify, it's a major e-commerce platform with a wide variety of tools and add-ons specifically designed to make running a store online a lot simpler. It includes a website builder, inventory management system, and a payment processing service that handles international transactions. Shopify also offers marketing tools and a dashboard that analyzes your business to provide valuable insights. You can set up your website add products and link them to your social media accounts all within Shopify. If you're running a brick and mortar store, a pop-up market or something similar, you can sync up your store with Facebook, Instagram shops or other social media channels and Shopify will add all the necessary integrations to your account, making the process seamless. When it comes to what products to sell, you have a few options. You could handle shipping yourself, opt for drop shipping, print on demand or offer digital products and services. If you're unsure of what to sell, do some research or explore Shopify's app integrations like App Scenic to find products for your store. To create your account, you'll first go through a small questionnaire about your products and whether you already have a website. Then you'll select the country you're selling from. After that, enter your email and create a password. Then click on create Shopify account and then you'll be taken to the Shopify dashboard. Next, click on select plan. Based on your data, Shopify will suggest a plan to fit your needs. If you're just starting a new e-commerce store, I recommend the basic plan as it covers all the essentials that you're gonna need for starting and growing your store. And then you input your payment method and choose your billing cycle, then subscribe. You'll then be taken back to the Shopify dashboard where you can start customizing themes and exploring the features they have. In summary, trying out Shopify's trial and then moving to the basic plan is a pretty good move if you're starting small and just Want to figure things out. The trial lets you test all the features without pressure and the basic plan provides essential tools like the website builder, inventory management, secure payments, and marketing features. And that's basically everything for this video, folks. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And remember, if you want to try Shopify, there's a link in the description for the best deal out there. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And until next time, do make sure to take care.